Velocity analysis by graphical methods. Velocity analysis by graphical methods are based on kinematic theories. These are not simple drawing tricks, and uh, since there is no substitute to sound theoretical understanding, it is very much advised that we study about the theory behind the velocity analysis by graphical methods. So, with this body moving, the axis of rotation is O. Point A has a velocity equal to omega multiplied by OA. Point B has a velocity equal to omega multiplied by OB. So these are the magnitudes of uh, the velocities. But what about the directions? We can draw this line and uh, the vector of the velocity of A is perpendicular to that line that joins O and A. The velocity vector of B is also perpendicular to that line that joins O and B. And we can very well understand that we can draw the proportionality line. With regards to another point C, the magnitude of the velocity of C is equal to the omega multiplied by OC. That is the velocity vector of point C and it is also perpendicular to that line that joins O and C. We can also draw this arc and determine the location of C prime and we can write the velocity vector of that point C prime and we again understand that uh, it is proportional to the distance of O to C sub C prime and it follows the proportionality line. So it is uh, also perpendicular to that line that joins O C prime. Velocity analysis by graphical method. We understand that if we know the velocity of a point, that means the magnitude and direction of a point in a body, and also we know the direction of a velocity of another point in the same body, then we can find the velocity, that means the magnitude and direction of any other point in that body. So with this uh, point A moving with the velocity vector A and the point B in the same body with uh, the direction given, we can determine the velocity of C, the velocity of D, the velocity of B and also the velocity of E, which is rigidly connected to the same body. Velocity analysis by graphical method will be uh, explained here using the relative velocity method. By the relative velocity method, it is following this equation. The absolute velocity of B is equal to the absolute velocity of A plus the relative velocity of B with respect to A. This is our simplified equation. And uh, we understand that uh, these are vector quantities, so they both have magnitudes and directions. We also understand that uh, we are performing vector addition and uh, not a scalar operation. So again, this is our equation. And uh, for most of the problems that we will encounter, the velocity of A is given 
so we know the magnitude and direction and we have to understand we have to find the magnitude of the velocity of b we do not know its magnitude but we know its direction we also do not know the magnitude of the relative velocity of b with respect to a but we know its direction so we have to apply this equation on this body with point a and point b the velocity of a is given by this vector and the direction of the velocity of b is given by this dotted line and uh, the method by relative velocity requires us to construct a velocity polygon so on the basis of uh, this equation we will have to draw a velocity polygon here we can transfer this velocity vector of a to the origin that is the velocity of a we can now transfer the direction of the velocity of point B also at the origin but we do not know whether it is to the left or to the right so for the relative velocity of B with respect to A we have to draw this line and construct this perpendicular line and uh, transfer it to point A there is an intersection which is point B we are now completing our velocity polygon so the velocity of B is equal now to the velocity of A plus the velocity of B with respect to A this is the velocity of B and with this we can now transfer this velocity vector to point B also we can transfer this velocity vector to point B this is the velocity of B with respect to A in the same way that uh, we can have this velocity vector at point A this is the velocity of A with respect to B now with this these two are all both uh, perpendicular to the line that joins A and B so with now with this we can uh, determine the angular velocity of the body given by the magnitude of this relative velocity and the length of AB it is upon our observation that we know that uh, the direction of the rotation is counterclockwise if we have to know the direction and magnitude of the velocity of C we hope to present it in another video.